Hey guys, that monkey and we're back here for another video. Welcome back to the episode of my sniping series. So guys, if you have not realized, um, this series now we are on episode uh, 124, I believe. I I think that might that might not 100 be accurate. I always get the numbers wrong on how much episodes we are in, but I believe we're on episode 124. And guys. This has just been a crazy series for me, for everything with my channel. Um, as you can see, this is the players I have right now. I got some Christmas players. This giveaway, again, will be ending to today. So I will contact whoever won um, today between Timothy, Tony, and Nate. And once again, if you'd like to join the GOAT list, you can down below in the description. But guys, what we're going to be doing in today's episode of the Sniping Series is is i'm gonna be talking about team of the year so team of the year is coming up it should come up either this monday or this tuesday i believe and the whole point of the team of the year is that every single position gets a very very good player so whatever position you know quarterback all the way up to kicker gets a player so it's kind of interesting it definitely adds a lot of new players in the game now, I did figure out with the team of the week or team of the year set, I actually missed one week. I did every single week and I missed week 15. I don't know what I was doing week 15, but I missed it, sadly, so I cannot complete the set. But this set is um, the same thing as last year. Um, I figured that it was going to just be one collectible because it doesn't say actual player. But sadly, it's not like that. Um, it's just like last year where you get a free player by completing this set, so... I missed out. I missed out. I should have done it on all 10 farm counts. But it's. Mm, I am pretty peeved off about that, guys. But um, so the team of the year, you get a quarterback, halfback, wide receiver, fullback, you know, every single position. So what does that mean for the auction block? Well, now that it's guaranteed you're going to get a free player by completing all 17 of those weeks. What that means is that there's going to be, like, day one, the second it comes out, there's going to be a lot of people with these cards, with the Team of the Year cards. Okay, that means they're going to be flooded over the auction block. Second thing that means, EA is going to go try hard with putting out packs that give you, like, so many freaking Team of the Year players. They're just going to be throwing them out there, right? So what does that mean? The price of the um, Team of the Year cards are going to be kind of low. Also, what it's going to mean is that anything that is under 95 overall is going to be worth almost nothing. Now, not almost nothing. Like, for example, this Randy Moss 93 overall, which I kind of don't re recommend you getting because he wasn't really that great when I used him. But um, this Randy Moss right here. He's right now currently, let's see how much he goes for. He, uh, Vikings, I believe. Yes. Yeah, Randy Moss goes for about 225k, which actually his price has gone up. He was done at 180, but now he's up 225. So 225k, once the team of year drops, his price will probably go down to 140, 130k something around that area and the reason why is because there's gonna be a 95 overall receiver let's just say ty hilton obviously that's probably not gonna be one of the players i'm just throwing one out there ty hilton comes out he's 95 you know or maybe aj green not aj green julio jones right 97 overall julio jones his price is going to be shot because of the fact that 97 overalls <coughs> Are going to go for a certain amount now. And his price is going to shoot down. Be awful. So any player 95 or below. Is going to drop in price. Now team of the year players. Usually are about 95. <coughs> plus overall. So they can be 95 to 97 overall. Usually it's not like above 97. So about 95, 96, 97 overall. So, what that means is, and the fact that the prices are probably going to be kind of lower just because everyone can get them easier. All the players below that overall that are already in the game right now are going to 
crash in price. So I recommend, like I said before, <coughs> selling your team. So I don't know why my throat is so messed up right now. Um, I'm just trying to, uh, what's it called? I guess the air is like weird around my, around me. So it's like messing up my throat. So anyway, um, <coughs> so sell your teams. The team of the year also you gotta look at is going to be, um, what's it called? It's going to change the market a lot. So, you know, going into this year, you know, the market changes every time. I don't know how to put this. Like, so the new, the new base amount of cards comes out. Like, all right, so we start the year with 85 overall. It's like the, oh my God, go get 85s, right? <clears throat> and then we go to 90. And then 90 is the base where it's like every card that comes out to me a 90 overall. Well, team of the year is kind of is the same exact example. So 95s are going to be the base from now on. You know, it's going to be 95 plus. We saw that today with Randall Cunningham coming out. Um, by the way, if you do have Randall Cunningham, you can keep him because most likely the quarterback is going to be Matt Ryan and it's going to be a 95 overall. So usually they like to do a 95 overall quarterback. But whatever players come out, it's going to be 95 plus from this point on. So what that means is any player below 95 is from, if you have them on your team, sell them. Because they're not going to be worth anything after probably Monday or Tuesday morning. And the reason why is because that's when the point begins. That is 95 plus overall players for the rest of the year. <clears throat> so that's a huge recommendation for me. Do not mess around with 95 under players for the rest of the year. Because after tomorrow, it's going to be... Oh, not after tomorrow. After Monday or Tuesday, it's going to be pointless. Now, of course, if the team of the year does not come out Monday or Tuesday, whenever it comes out. Um, the ultimate freeze goes away January 5th. I don't know if, if Team of the Week is January 6th. I've just figured it's going to be Tuesday or Wednesday. But, yeah. So, there's a key tip. Anyone 95 or plus, keep them on your team. Deion Sanders, uh, Night Train Lane, keep them on your team. They're not going to go down in price. Or not go down significantly. They're not going to go down a lot. <laughs> Let me put it that way. Um, Next thing to look at is going to be... um. A little key update. So right now I'm grinding out chemistry solos on all 10 of my farm accounts. I'm almost done. So close. So my uh, I will be making a lot more videos. Like, you know, I will be making a lot of different videos and actually building a team. Um, once the team of the year comes out, that's when I recommend you build your squad. So if you guys do not know, this is my whole process of mutt completely. And I've been doing the same process every single year. And I feel like it's the best process to do. So you do not, you, the first, uh, about August to January, you do not build a squad. Do not buy cards, do not do anything, just make as many coins as you possibly can make. January on, build your squad. Once the team of the year comes out, you build your squad. And that's because 95s overall, like team of the year, right? It's when 95 overalls become the base. The base cards come out every single week at 95 overalls. And the reason why is because Team of the Year is released. So with that, a 95 overall will last you the rest of the season. You can have a 95 overall and play with them for the rest of Mutt. Probably all the way up to even Ultimate Legends coming out. A 95 overall will at least stop an Ultimate Legend. Although it might not do the best job... It will at least do a job against him. So that's my recommendation is if you're going to build a squad, this is the time to do it. Do it now once the team of the year is released. So wait until the team of the year is released and then you can build your squad. Um, by the way, a little key tip. Um, 92 overall Brett Favre. If you have 200k, um, get the 200k. Get this 86 Brett Favre. Sorry, not 86. Get the... Um, Free Brett Favre you got for just signing in. Go to Limited Time Solos and actually not Limited Time. Go to Ultimate Freeze. Not that. Okay, let's try to go to Ultimate Freeze. Here we go. 
go to ultimate freeze and actually complete these two because if you complete these two um you can complete this by getting the free 86 overall fall if you get if you complete this one you get a 92 overall fall and if you even if you don't want to do the set that card is a beast and definitely going to be great for a very long time um, in this game. He's like the best budget quarterback and you can get him for free. So just buy the 200k uh, Freeman and um, Sharp. And then just sell them back when you're done. And you get a free um, you get a free 92 overall Brett Favre who is really, really good. So that's pretty much it for this video guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video make sure you slap that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. Go down below in the description. Join a goat list if you'd like to. I do do monthly giveaways for goat list members. Currently, we have three goat list members. I'm just going to check to make sure we have no one else that joined. If you do join, make sure you tell me down below in the comment section so I can make sure to add you and talk about you um, in my videos. Uh, yeah, so currently we have Timothy, Tony, and Nate. They were very awesome. So, guys, once again, make sure you slap that like button. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out. Hey guys, that monkey and we're back here for another video. Welcome back to the episode of my sniping series. So guys, if you have not realized, um, this series now we are on episode uh 124, I believe. I I think that might that might not 100 be accurate. I always get the numbers wrong on how much episodes we are in, but I believe we're on episode 124. And guys. This has just been a crazy series for me, for everything with my channel. Um, as you can see, this is the players I have right now. I got some Christmas players. This giveaway, again, will be ending to today. So I will contact whoever won um, today between Timothy, Tony, and Nate. And once again, if you'd like to join the GOAT list, you can down below. And it's going to be flooded over the auction block. Second thing that means... EA is going to go try hard with putting out packs that give you, like, so many freaking Team of the Year players. They're just going to be throwing them out there, right? So what does that mean? The price of the um, Team of the Year cards are going to be kind of low. Also, what it's going to mean is that anything that is under 95 overall is going to be worth almost nothing. Now, not almost nothing, like, for example, this Randy Moss... 93 overall, which kind of don't re recommend you getting because he wasn't really that great when I used him. But um, this Randy Moss right here, he's right now currently. Let's see how much he goes for. He uh, Vikings, I believe. Yes. Yeah, Randy Moss goes for about 225k, which actually his price has gone up. He was done at 180, but now he's up to 225. So 225k. Once the team of the year drops, his price will probably go down to 140, 130k, something around that area. And the reason why is because there's gonna be a 95 overall receiver. Let's just say T.Y. Hilton. Obviously, that's probably not gonna be one of the players. I'm just throwing one out there. T.Y. Hilton comes out. He's 95, you know, or maybe A.J. Green. Not AJ Green, Julio Jones, right? 97 overall Julio Jones. His price is going to be shot. Because of the fact that 97 overalls <coughs> was going to just be one collectible because it doesn't say actual player. But sadly, it's not like that. Um, it's just like last year where you get a free player by completing this set. So I missed out. I missed out. I should have done it on all 10 farm accounts. But it's hmm i am pretty peeved off about that guys but um so the team of the year you get a quarterback halfback wide receiver fullback you know every single position so what does that mean for the auction block well now that it's guaranteed you're going to get a free player by completing all 17 of those weeks what that means is that there's gonna be like day one the second it comes out there's going to be a lot of people with these cards, with the Team of the Year cards. Okay, that means they're description. But guys, what we're going to be doing in today's episode of the Sniping Series is I'm going to be talking about Team of the Year. So, Team of the Year is coming up. It should come up either this Monday or this Tuesday, I believe. And 
the whole point of the team of the year is that every single position gets a very, very good player. So whatever position, you know, quarterback all the way up to kicker gets a player. So it's kind of interesting. It definitely adds a lot of new players in the game. Now, I did figure out with the team of the week or team of the year set, I actually missed one week. I did every single week and I missed week 15. I don't know what I was doing week 15, but I missed it. Sadly, so I cannot complete this set, but this set is um, the same thing as last year. Um, I figured that it